Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Rome Total War here today on the channel. We're back on our Skippy Eye campaign. This is episode 5. In today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon Pontus and starting the first Mithridatic War. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, and let me know in the comments that we allow me to expand and conquer. We have four full stacks on the border here with Gaius, Aulius, and Paulius. Paulius, the son of Quintus, the conqueror of Greece, and my two brothers, Aulius and Gaius, who have helped out in some Greek affairs. So, hopefully, here today, we can take some Pontic territory and still continue to take the Greek holdings out in uh, Anatolia as, what is it, episode 5? And they still have territory. We've, we've knocked them out of Sicily, Greece, and hopefully Anatolia now. We've taken the city of Necomedia, the first uh, of today's episode. We might even open up an, an Iberian front as well, depending on how we go. Let's break down that shrine to Zeus. Pontus want a ceasefire? Really? That's so quick. The Mithridatic Wars are some of the, the cooler, most interesting of the uh, the Roman era. I think, like, didn't Mithridates try to kill himself with a snake, but he'd been around snakes too much <laughs> that uh, it, 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 could, it wouldn't kill him? I'm happy to give peace if you give me Ankara. No, they're not interested. I believe as well... The inheritance banked rolled Rome for a fair few few years. So let's get Gaius to push towards Ankara here now. And then it's Greek territories further south. Let's push Ulius in along with Publius. But so far for the series, we've done quite well. We've managed to take out Thrace in the last episode, Greece and Macedon before that. Namidia and Carthage and the North African ter territories before even that. Alright, so, Julianus, I think he's ready to start this front. So he's the head of the house now, the son of Scor uh, Cornelius Scipio Africanus. Let's allow Julianus to declare war upon the Iberians. Alrighty, so what are the Bruti are doing? Whoa! They've taken Germanic territory all the way up in Marco Mani. Really? Uh, the Julii are still slowly but pushing against the Gauls. They've got a lot of armies in operation there. Alright, let's deal with the city of Ankara now. Alright, uh, what is it? 95, I'd say, in our favor. Only lost 700. We killed 1,000 of theirs. So let's enslave the population. So we've taken Ankara and Nicomedia in quite quick successions. So although the Mithridatic War has kicked off, we might be fighting the Greeks here today, but we'll take Cordoba now. Oh, there's bloody no one inside. And the 162. That's bloody nothing. One Skatari swordsman or whatever. Clear victory. Let's take Cordoba now. Wine and some gold mines. Yeah, so the quicker we can take Iberia from the Julii, the better. Alrighty. Let's push towards the Greek city of Pergamon with Aulius. Um. Gaius and Publius. Let's go with two battering rams and five ladders. I think that's the best thing for us. You can't really destroy ladders in this game. You can spam them out quicker, even though arrow towers are a lot stronger. We could just order resolve this one out, because we do have a lot of siege equipment, though. Another man of Sparta. Why are they all of Sparta? You, Aeneas the Mad, 42. The amount of Greek faction leaders <laughs> and kings we've taken out, it's quite crazy. 5 to 1. 800. Even with scorpions. Alright, let's take Pergamon now. 
They mustn't have many more. Maybe Rhodes. Oh, Sardis is under Pontic control further in the south. A message from the Senate. That's okay. Hey, we've been intercepted here at Sardis. The Pontic King has attacked us here. Whoa, he is a massively formidable commander. And mine not so much. We do have the numerical advantage. However, they seem to have the cavalry and skirmisher. Dionysus, eh? Two, four. That's a 10 star commander. This, this is going to be a tough fight. Alright, so it looks like the Pontic nations have made their last stand outside Sardis. This army of Pontus fondly imagines that it is your equal in honor and bravery. I say that they are wrong, and their dead will be many. The first move in this particular game is theirs, I think. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful! The woods nearby may give us the chance to spring a surprise or two upon our enemy. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. There is little to fear, as help is coming. Within the day, another army of ours will arrive for this battle. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave! Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchwords today! Alrighty, let's start the battle and deployment. We've been attacked here with not the best army, but we can make do. Alright, let's make a strong long front line, invert the wings, we have one unit of Barbarian Cavalry and Spears, so we should be able to make that well. I've got a bloody Peasant unit in there, I would have liked a lot more Archers. You want to go, you want to kind of go three Archers, four Cavalry and mostly Swordsmen, but if you're doing a lot of Sieges, which we will be without the series, you can really just stack Hastati and Princapes and it still works well. That's with the Romans, they're just like the Roman sword and just overall Peltas equipment is just so versatile. Alright, let's try and move my Scorpion Ballista up. We'll see how we go. They do have a lot of chariots, which which worry me. We do have numerical supremacy, but command-wise, Dionysus of Pontus is, is going to be a, a formidable fight. Really got to admire Pontus, descendants of great... Alexandrian generals carving out their kingdom from the Seleucids, Cappadocia, even somewhat of Persia and stuff. They've done quite well, but they're going to be fighting Roman. Oh, they've been caught there. Come on. I thought this was Rome. Rome won. The cavalry reaction should be a lot better, yeah. Look how quick they are just to get out of their whole ass. Oh, now they're moving up their chariots. We might need to, yeah, pull the ballista back. I'm surprised they're not in range. We might just, admit, yeah, let's just move up the front line. They're swinging around chariots. We just need to protect it because I overextended. Alright. Let's move the Stati up to protect and the flanks, but already we're starting to take some skirmish fire damage. 
Alright, let's move you there. Oh, it looks like Pontus have officially sounded the charge. Nice! And we're getting some small sh lightning shots off against their eastern units. We might even need a charge there. Alright, let's move you higher up here as well. As they do have a secondary army looking to come in. My archers are doing well. Arcing their shot up over it. And it looks like the unit that I targeted with my ballista have routed. Their missile chariots. Surely, surely barbarian spears should be able to do well against chariots. Like, surely. They're running away now, but with the beauty with Rome, if you're quick enough, especially if you use borders to your advantage, you can actually silence and quell and, and catch up with these type of units. There you go for the charge. 82 in the initial. Really? We lost 10? We're trading quite well with them. Or not. Really? Oh, that's a shame. We probably lost them. Oh, I gave the order for some of you to charge. But they're not really doing so. They're just sort of baiting back and forth. I, I'm trying to wait for my reinforcements to come in. Because unfortunately, their secondary armies come in now. And now they have the numerical supremacy. We're at number two to one. Looking at the favor. It's actually a 60-40. We might need to make a good old Roman noob box. Make a hexagon! One of the stronger shapes, I guess. I think the, I think it's the triangle is the strongest shape there is, or some bullshit. <laughs> the pyramids are an example. I hope we can take them soon. We're skirmishing where we can. Quintus is taking... Oh, come on. Are you serious? We're going to have to counter charge that. Those blister were just over the line. And they've fled straight away there. We just need to hold on to the Pontic onslaught. Man, oh man. We are fighting to the bitter end here. They just like keep on going back and forth, cycling there their forces forward. We are absolutely exhausted in this. I just have to sit back, relax and allow the Pontic forces to clash upon the shield wall like water on rock. But Gaius here is definitely going to earn his claim to be the governor of Pontus. God. Pontus have given us an absolute hell of a fight here today. Definitely more formidable than the Greeks and Thracians combined. So we're still on track. We must have hit our short campaign. It's only like 15 t territories in it, Numidia and, and Carthage. We must be coming close now to seceding that. We need 50 before we can hit our long and then uh, take the city of Rome. But, depending on how things go, we're still, what, five, six episodes away before we can even declare war upon... Oh, Publius has finally arrived. Thank fuck for that. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see, depending on sort of the support of these series, I'm sure we could take out the Brutii and Julius Julii Holdings. We'll just have to see how we go. They're finally in retreat. And this should be... The last of Pontus. 
Just running down the last remaining stragglers. So they made their last sort of stand here. They brought in two units. Good on you, Gaius. You've absolutely put this army through the ringer. We killed 1.5. They killed 1.6. They actually traded quite well and retreated with the majority of their forces there. I don't want to adopt you. That's fine. Righty, oh, oh guys, welcome back. It's 233 BC, and now we can take Sardis. And I believe we can secure a new wonder. Is it the uh, Temple of Olympia? But Dionysus has lost a couple of command points. And I guess Gaius has taken it. Clear victory. I'm curious to see what the buff is for Sardis. Temple of Artemis. Religious buildings cost 30% less. Good! That's really good. That's why you need these wonders, man. New religious buildings minus 30%. Fantastic. I think the Olympian temple is further south. We've also got an abundance of slaves here in uh, Asia Minor. Okay. Let's continue further south to eliminating this small Pontic force and then the city of Helicarnassus which I'm assuming was Greek occupied but now it's under the control of rebels we're also going to finish off this Dionysus chap you got to give it to him the faction leader of Pontus a born leader he's done really quite well here but unfortunately he's no more against Roman ingenuity and might. Right, let's allow Gaius to take Halicarnassus now. And Captain Damocles, I like the name of that. Clear victory. So I guess the last of the Greeks are in Rhodes. And they seem to be stacking it a bit. Mausoleum reduces the construction of territory. Take on five of ten Good. Hey, we finally have our first console. Oh, that's fantastic. Gaius. Um. Scipio. Vi Gaius Victor. For single handedly eliminating Pontus, has gained the console ship of the faction leader, Julianus. Wow, we. Ulius is Idol Quaestor as well. Gaius Scipio is the first Scipii console. Yeah, to be fair, he's probably just killed a lot more and basically subdued Pontus, while his brother is focused on North Africa and Iberian territory. Not the most glory, but still work that needed to be done. Rightio, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. It's finally time to get rid of these pesky Greeks. We'll finally be able to take the city of Rhodes and just get rid of them. Put the final nail in the Greek proverbial coffin. Ulius here can uh, take the charge. Now, unfortunately, guys, Quintus Victor has uh, passed away. Not Quintus, sorry, Gaius. Quite, yeah, Quintus passed away quite a long time ago. Gaius, who... Uh, was the new consul and the conqueror of Pontus, which is a shame, but uh, so be it. I'll try to keep a track on how many we get. Her Her Herodotus? Yeah. I don't know. That's interesting that they've got a couple of Greek scholars here. Hopefully we can grab a couple of those. And let's enslave Rhodes. And Colossus. Naval trade by 40%. That's ridiculous. That's a really good buff. Hey, and the Greeks are destroyed. Okay, guys, I've sent a small military force to the Crimea in a nick of time, perhaps, because the Scythians are pushing to try and take it. I guess the Greeks held it at, some, at one stage. But taking the Crimea, a crucial trade port in the Black Sea, is now under Roman control. One Scythian force was sent to go take it. 
Right. It's time to continue Julianus's further expansion into Iberia, and we're going to be fighting against the Carthaginians uh, here today. So we've taken Cordoba. Now it's time for Julianus to nearly finish them off. We haven't fought them for quite some time, because we fought them early on, taking Carthage, having the Battle of Zama, getting them out of Lilibaeum. But they lost most of their North African territory. They've sort of been sitting and hiding in Iberia, which is interesting, but Carthago Nova, or Cart had a shit or whatever, <laughs> what's it called in Rome to? We're going to take it here now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye. Unfortun <clears throat> unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series.